Standing five foot eight inches tall, he weighed in at 125 pounds. His record, perfect, five wins, no losses, representing Team Relentless from India. Please welcome Yadwinder, the Beast Singh. Fighting out of the blue corner at five foot six inches tall, he weighed in at 125 pounds. His record, five wins, three losses, representing Fight Fortress from Pakistan. Please welcome Ulumi. Kratos Kareem. <laughs> Referee in charge for this match is Nicholas Basig. Got a big uh, India-Pakistan clash here. You had Winder Singh, 5-0 against Ulumi Karim Shaheen. Karim Shaheen from Pakistan. He likes it here in the Philippines. Defeated Michael Mondragon in uh, January in Makati seven months ago against Yad Winder Singh, a native of Punjab. Now based out of Mumbai, and we are off to the races here. Now look for the striking of Lomi Karim. He's a great stand-up specialist. And you were talking about that bout that he had here in the Philippines. He actually took a guy down so hard that the guy ended up being dazed and he knocked him out from it. And very interesting. This guy is very well-rounded. And going up against Yad Singh, who is very composed, actually. He's, he's the type of guy that has a strong work ethic. And he's the type of person that's going to look for the clinch here. But it's a little bit tough when you're going up against a stand-up specialist. So you're going to have to time your entry very well. You know, you were saying Lomi, Karim Shaheen, well-rounded. He's a well-rounded person as well. He's a computer science graduate and was the bassist of a metal band oh, called Disbelief with D-I-S-S, -S, Belief. <laughs> but he said he had to give up his music career to be an MMA fighter. I guess uh, being a bassist and an <laughs> MMA fighter don't quite go together, especially if uh, you have to punch people one night and then uh, play bass the next night. But, yeah, it's uh, saying, looking for that counter right there. I mean, these guys are slowly picking up the uh, pace. Yeah, it's saying he's a plays a kushti or traditional Indian mud pit wrestling. Oh. But pretty good stand up as well. This is what I was looking for for Yad here, to press up Ulomi by the fence and kind of use his strength here, which is the clinch. And he likes to tire guys out here. And if he can do that, it may slow down the striking of Ulomi. He can use that to kind of frustrate Ulomi here and just kind of drape his weight on him a little bit, make him expel his energy. Strong underhook there coming from Yad. Right now, they're just uh, feeling each other out. And I'm sure that Yad is trying to look for the timing to go for a takedown, but he was pushed off by Karim. Both uh, gentlemen wearing dark brown shorts, but it is Yad Winder Singh with the shock of hair. That is how to tell them apart. These are flyweights, 125 pounds each. Good inside leg kick. Looking to go high there that time around. Mixing it up well. And this is not what Yad wants. He doesn't want Ulomi just picking the shots, controlling the tempo. Combination there from Shaheen. There it is. You know he's going to look for that clinch. Oh, that kind of clipped him a little bit there with that high knee. having a thick beard like that kind of helps you with the high knees <laughs> at least psychologically <laughs> overhand right and Singh is just trying to time when he can close a distance and go for a clinch there he is Yad Winder Singh this is where he wants to be as you say uh, Pat Tamlang mm -hmm. for sure I mean you know, Karim usually likes to blitz in more and likes to throw a variety of strikes, but he knows that Yad Singh is looking for the clinch, and that's why he's picking his shots and trying to use his distance. But Yad Singh able to have Karim play his game here a little bit. Let's see if he can be effective in the clinch. And sometimes, you know, people, when they, when they uh, watch the clinch, they feel like not much is going on, and you'll hear the crowd boo a little bit from time to time, but there's, it's a technical battle here, and it's the guy who expels more energy that's going to end up losing, and you're going to see the effects of that later on in the second and third round. So it may not seem like much is going on, but it's about efficiency here as well. 
if we get to a second or third round. Lomi Karim Sharim, two knockouts and two submissions among his five victories. Yad Winter Singh, his last fight, unanimous win over Alex Shilden in the very first World Series of Fighting Global Championship in Hainan last November. So he wants to follow that up with a victory here, but Shaheen stands in his way. Shaheen trying to slither under the grasp of Yadwinder Singh. Double under here coming from Yad Singh. And he's going to use that to hopefully drop down, go for a takedown, suck the guy's hips in. But right now, I think it's got that overhook on that left side coming from Karim, preventing him from dropping down his levels. But just using that to maybe just tire out Karim here a little bit, make him work in the clinch. That's definitely going to slow down his strikes later on. And that'll be it for our first five minutes of action. If you're uh, playing a uh, judge here, Pat, who would you uh, favor in that first exchange? I think um, Karim was uh, the one that had a little bit more, I guess, gave more damage, I guess, uh, up against Yad. And Yad was able to get some positions there, but didn't really do much with it. He had the double unders there towards the end of the round. Didn't really attempt for a takedown or anything like that. But then again, his strategy may be to tire out Karim here. You can see right here when they're working on the clinch, that was that high knee coming from Karim. You can see right here that head kick kind of connected. There's a lot of clinching that went on here in this round. A knee there from Yad. Still, the defenses have held for both gentlemen. As the seconds have been uh, instructed to depart. Omar Lomi Karim Shaheen saying that uh, he loves his country, Pakistan, very much. And not to believe the media there, it is a beautiful place and very peaceful. And uh, he says, even though he's fighting against the a fighter of, a, of the bitter rival of Pakistan, he wants to bring peace through sports. It's good to see a great sportsman-like uh, attitude from both of these guys. But right now, Shaheen Ooh. going for the kill there, as, uh, but it's Yadwinder Singh who fires, but doesn't quite connect or, there with those rights. Oh. Time. Short slip there. Everything good. <laughs> Crowd getting in on the action. But you can see that Karim respects Yad's uh, ability to close the distance. That's why he's picking his shots. He's not throwing too many combinations. Usually you'll see him in fights where he'll come in there and blitz an opponent and just overwhelm them with strikes. But with the threat of that clinch and the takedown, he's picking his shots here and making sure that the distance is managed well. We really haven't seen these uh, either of these fighters both on the mat yet. A little tentative coming from Yad. I expect a little bit more action from him, being that he was down in that first round. Maybe he's a slow starter. Ooh, exchange right there. Inside leg kick. Maybe a poke in the eye there. Shaheen seems to be all right. As he continues to stalk Yadwinder Singh. Oh, overhand right connected for Yad Singh there. And another one, a big right here. Singh starting to pick up some points here. He keeps on throwing it. He may want to disguise it a little bit now and set it up. Or maybe mix it up with a takedown as he drops levels when he throws that overhand right. Ooh, just missed with that right. Great action so far. This is one for the fans of striking here. As they are really going at it, hammer and tongs. That inside leg kick has been working really well for Karim. There it is again. Oh, drops him. And he was hurt there by Shaheen. Great elbow coming from Kareem right there. Big right knee as well. And he wants to create some distance and try to finish this fight. He connected well with that one. Dropped Singh. 
Look for that elbow, possibly a knee. There it is. Singh staying firm, standing strong, but Shaheen there against the momentum. He's in a good spot here with a minute and 40 to go in this second out of three rounds. Great knees so far coming from Karim. And he's going to look to finish here a minute and about 20 plus seconds left. That's enough time for a striker to finish. Body English of Yadwinder Singh doesn't look too good to me, but... I think he's been rocked by that last exchange. Yeah, I think he's still trying to, you know, get his feet there. With a minute to go, Nomi taking his time. Again, that inside leg kick has been beautiful. He likes to set up his punches with that too. There it is, switching it up. Tons of confidence from Omar Shaheen. He's oozing it from every pore right now. Oh, great one, too, coming from Yad. Yad needed that. Oh, big right there from Shaheen. Yad Winder continues to fire but missed the target. As we're into our last 12 seconds of this second round. It's been a good one. A late takedown attempt here. Good sprawl from Shaheen. Great defense on that on that takedown. See that he's been training real hard for Yad. Preparing for that uh, clinch and possible takedown. End of round two. One more coming up right after this. Welcome back to the World Series of Fighting Global Championship. Coming up is round three of Yadwinder Singh against Ulomi Karim Shaheen. And these are the highlights of a very, very eventful second round. They weren't afraid to stand in the pocket in exchange. And there is one time where Karim was able to connect and drop Yad. Hopefully we can see that action. Connected with the right right there. And they were just exchanged. There it is. That left hook right in the jaw. He looked glassy-eyed there for a moment at Yadwinder Singh. And uh, this fight is for the taking here. The last round, five minutes to glory for either of these two. The unbeaten Yadwinder Singh, perhaps you would think, could be trailing in the scorecards here, Pat mm -hmm. I think so. I think he's down in this third round. He's going to need to be a little bit more, I guess, active and not wait for Karim. He's gonna need to initiate a couple more of those takedowns, which towards the, the late part of the second round, he attempted a little bit. He needs more of those. He's still looking for that overhand right. Ooh, there it is again. He seems to find that every time Karim throws a jab, he counters it with an overhand right. Yeah, Quinta Singh, she would think needs to be the more aggressive one, but Shaheen, two big rights there, right kicks. I think sometimes when you respect your opponent too much, it, it makes you timid when you're in there. He needs to trust in himself a little bit more, be a little bit more aggressive here, especially since those first two rounds did not go his way. And if 
he wants to keep that undefeated record, he's going to need to do something here. Kyron is just controlling that distance very well. Nice lateral movement there, trying to get away. Ooh, back fist attempt. And Shaheen shakes his head and smiles a little bit as, as if to say, no, that's not going to work on me, buddy. <laughs> nice attempt, though. It's good that he's trying out different things. Going deep into the playbook is Yadwinder Singh. And both of these athletes in superb physical shape. We are deep into the third round, and they look like they could go on all night. <laughs> Seems uh, they've got some uh, agreement here to keep this fight standing, but yeah, they haven't, haven't grappled yet. <laughs> we haven't seen it go to the ground yet. Kyron is just, you got to give it up to him too for maintaining good distance, and he's managing it very well. And you can see him right now, he's pouring it on. Oh, that right connected for Yad. And they're deciding to just exchange right here. Great action so far. And they're just standing in the pot and letting, letting uh, their punches go here. The defenses are creak, creaking open for both men. Oh, and Yad Winder, massive right there. That overhand right again. Looking for that straight this time around. He's got to do a little bit more. There it is again. Yad Winder is trying, starting to show why he has been undefeated in five professional matches. Five professional fights. He's really starting to gain in confidence here as the end of this third round nears. It's gotten a bit closer in the last minute or two, hasn't it, uh, Pat? Yeah, and, and Yad is finding the timing on that right hand. He just keeps on throwing it over and over again, and it's been connecting for him. Superman punch. Ooh. You see the other foot go in the air. You know it's a Superman punch. Every time. And there seems to be some blood in the mouth guard of uh, Shaheen at the moment. It is goes low and goes high, mixing things up here, coming from Yad. He needs to be a little bit more aggressive. Shaheen rocked a bit there. This could very well go to the judges. Two very good defensive fighters here, Pat. They didn't, haven't made a glaring mistake in this whole fight. I don't think. Last 10 seconds. Are we going to have a late finish? Still yeah. looking for that overhand right as Yad. Great fight from these two guys. And uh, Shaheen raises Yad Winder Singh's hand. And we'll find out which of these uh, fighters the judges favor after this. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecard for a decision. Judge Kalig scores this fight 30-27. Judge Benya scores this fight 29-28. And Judge Neronia scores this fight 30-27 for your winner by unanimous decision. Ulumi Kratos Curry. And Ulumi Karim Shaheem improves the 6-3. Pakistan comes out on top in this uh, battle of the subcontinent. He wins by unanimous decision over Yadwinder Singh. More great fighting action coming your way very shortly.